Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do geographical IP blocking, which means blocking uh, continents or blocking individual countries based on their IP addresses. I'm going to use the program called Geo Firewall. You can get the program from this website. This is the program. You can see continents or geographical territories. As least you can expand them all if you'd like. There is 270 or so uh, various territories and networks. You collapse them all and expand individual ones. Once you check, it means that you select into block. This is so you block in the whole Africa, all the countries within within the Africa region. As you can see, these two items are reserved networks. I don't suggest you blocking them because they're related to communication between your computer and the everything that surrounds it. Uh, so just leave them unchecked uh, unless you know specifically that you need specifically block any any of the networks uh, within it. Right. So once, uh, as you noticed, once I check something, uh, the rules, this is apply the rules button, the rules are automatically applied to the driver and that's when they take effect. Geolog. And let me give you an example how to block, for example, a country. Let's first see that we have communication with the uh, with the website from this country so let's uh, pick for example russia and uh, take some of the websites from this country just as an example let's pick this website let's look into the geolog and let's see what's what's going on As you can see, we have connection to the website. So this is uh, this is Russia. The, w the best way to find the country that you're looking for is to click this button, filter and bar, and uh, type in the name of the country. All right, and I checked it. Let's go back to the Internet Explorer and try to connect to this website again. Let's switch to Geolog and as you can see we cannot connect to this website because it was blocked. That's exactly what we wanted. You can quickly uncheck all of the, all of the territories using this two buttons, check, uncheck this is auto scroll for geolog let me show you uh, the settings you can change them through options your rules that apply it, the rules, whatever changes you make to these blocking rules they're going to be automatically applied and as you saw there was like a green bar automatically progressing that's when the rules were applied to the to the driver that's the delay so whenever you're making multiple changes at the same time you don't want each and every single change to be submitted because it takes some uh, CPU time and it, and it actually takes some time like a few seconds for them to apply so you want to delay in this case, I'm delaying for one second. And that's, I think that's the default value. Show log maximum size, it may get quite big. So uh, to conserve CPU time, you really want to uh, uh, keep it small. The like a cache period. The higher the value, the less load on, on CPU on your computer. And 
archaeolog non uh, country records if you check visible you're gonna start seeing within the geobog you're gonna start seeing communication with this uh, resort networks you can save the rules for example let me uh, Check if it applied. I, you can save the rules, for example, and it saves the file. Uh, if I can, uh, you can exit the program, and then I can just click this file. As you can see, the Russian, Russian Federation has actually blocked. Thank you for watching.